everybody. That Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And if you watched last week's video, Laura went shopping without me and got some stuff. I did. But she didn't know that I had brought all of this stuff home to show her. Yeah, you're trying to one-up me, aren't you? I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> so my grandmother's house and my dad's house, they had just kept stuff for me for years. And they were all going through some stuff and I went home and got all my stuff that they had just put up for me. So here it is. So cute. I've actually got more than this, but some of it was in kind of rough shape. Some of it was in a basement and kind of got gross. So some of it didn't make it, but. Well, these things happen. Yes. <laughs> Here, Here's the good stuff though. So cute. Yeah. So I don't know where to start. It's, it's... Yeah, you're gonna have to tell me about these things cause you know, it was too late. Well, no, too early for my kids and too late for me. So it's right in between. Okay, so I'll just I'll just get started. So the first thing I've got up here in the front um, are little McDonald's toys. Those are Bambi and Thumper. Those might have to be yard sale items because as you can tell, I played pretty hard with these. Oh, they're so cute. I was pretty rough on stuff. I like to play with my toys when I was a kid. Did you know that Thumper is my favorite I Disney didn't, character? Ever? I didn't know that. Yes. All right. So yeah, that was actually my very first trip to McDonald's. My Aunt Jane uh, took me and my cousin Kyle and my cousin Kurt to the movies to see Bambi. So that was my first movie and my first McDonald's. Well, you can't, you can't sell these in a yard sale. They, they have to go on your shelf. If they don't, they're gonna go on my shelf. I'm not as sentimental as you are. Okay. <laughs> so cute. Okay. But I, some, for some, somehow I, I ended up with two of them. Maybe I stole one of Kyle's or Krista's <laughs> on that trip. I can't make him stand up. It's okay. Okay. So the next thing I've got up here in the front are some California raisins. And I don't know, maybe those came out of like Happy Meal toys as well. Maybe yeah. Hardee's. Maybe those were Hardee's. I think so. I think, yeah, I think they were. I don't think they were McDonald's. Okay. I had a little stint of collecting McDonald's toys in my time. And right. These were not any that McDonald's had, I don't think. Gotcha. I played with those pretty hard too, so. Those are cute. You know, everybody's looking for the vintage toys that are in great condition. That's not what these are, because <laughs> these were well played with. <laughs> I've also got some blocks here in the front. These are kind of interesting because they're plastic. Most blocks are wood. And oh, these, they are. These are not, those are plastic. Those are cute. Yeah. Nothing special, just blocks. I played a lot with blocks too. I should and Lincoln Logs and Legos. Could spell my name. Well, there's a start to my name. Could <laughs> spell my name. Okay. So then um, I was super into Ninja Turtles, as you know. You guys <laughs> don't know that, but I think that I thought I was a Ninja Turtle when I was little. Maybe you still think that. <laughs> so here's like a little pinball machine. It's like a, a little handheld pinball game. That's cute. And that's got Ninja Turtles in the background. Of course, you're not gonna bring the good stuff out here because you are keeping that. Yeah, I have a closet full of my <laughs> old Ninja Turtles that I just can't part with. Well, this is cute. Yeah. So then I've got some like little Disney um, stuffed animals here, Dumbo, Pinocchio, and Pooh. If Pooh had his shirt on, I think he might be worth around $30. Without a shirt, I'm not sure what he might be worth. But I think Pooh, uh, excuse me, I think Dumbo and Pinocchio might be worth five to ten dollars each. Gosh, Pooh is so cute. But you know, there's been, uh, there's been a lot of Poohs since, I mean, he's old. So. Yeah, that one's an oldie. You can tell. Yeah. Awesome. So then I've got this like little, what are these called, CNCs? That's what I used to call them. So the, you pick your like letter. Looks like you had the B edition. Yeah, it's got a little B on it. I stuck this little heart sticker on there apparently. So yeah, you just pick your letter and. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of cute. That's adorable. All right, so over here on this side of the table, these two guys are gummy bears. You probably don't know about gummy bears. I, I thought you eat gummy bears. No. So in the 80s, there was this cartoon called Gummy Bears and they bounced on their butt. They just like bounced around. Didn't they, Nikki? Didn't they <laughs> bounce around on their butts on the cartoon? They did. Yeah. But something's wrong. 
<laughs> what? They're wearing the wrong clothes. Their oh, clothes are, are they? switched. <laughs> Oh, I think you're right. I think this is his shirt. Surely not. I mean, come on. She's got like, that's a that's like a ruffle. No, I, I think you're right, Nikki. They need to be switched. Yeah. Those okay. are the wrong shirts. This is Sunny Gummy, and that's Cubby Gummy. Okay, hang on. <laughs> you have to bleep this out. Is it X-rated? <laughs> We're going to change their clothes. <laughs> They're so Here, cute. Here, you take this one. Okay. Surely that's not right. I think Nikki's right. Trust me on the gummy bears. <laughs> I mean, I guess that looks okay. Oh yeah, that's that's better. I think I think you're right. They got their outfits changed at some point. I guess I thought they looked better the other way around. I think I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's more. He doesn't um, match at all. Well, I'm sorry. I'll I'll throw up a picture. Of what they're supposed to look like so we'll see okay <laughs> so then i've got two of the uh, i think these are the original care bears i think do you know nikki i think these they I, look old enough to be original care bears. i mean they're definitely from the 80s um they say 1983 on their tags they mm -hmm. do okay that was the year i was born 1983 so i, th I think that's I, th I think there were like 10 original Care Bears, and I'm pretty sure that that's two of them right there. This is Sunshine Funshine Bear. Is that right? Or Funshine Sunshine Bear? Funshine Sunshine. <laughs> what is it, Laura? <laughs> say that again. Funshine Sunshine. <laughs> Why can't I say that? It's Funshine Sunshine. Why can't I say that? I don't know. It's a problem. I hope nobody like comments on there and says I have some sort of neurological problem because I can't say that correctly. I have not said it correctly yet. Fun shine sunshine. Fun shine sunshine. <laughs> this is going to be the best video we've ever done. <laughs> and so this is Bedtime Bear. And they came out with a be another Bedtime Bear later that was blue, but this one's kind of a green color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he has moon and stars? Yes. A, a moon and a star. Yeah. I tried to look that one up for you, but that's all I could find out, that the green one had the moon and star, the, but there was a blue one. So those aren't incredibly valuable. We're thinking maybe around $20 a piece on those. I think the gummy bears might be about $24 to $34 hmm. for the gummy bears. They're just a little bit more valuable for some reason. Yeah, I've never, I really don't think I've ever heard of those. It was a big deal for us <laughs> 80s kids, right, yeah, Nikki? We need to insert the theme song. We might get copyrighted. <laughs> That's a good one. Look up the Gummy Bears theme song. Yeah. You guys look it up yourself. Do yourselves a favor. <laughs> <laughs> so then I've got some little pound puppies and pound kittens. These are cute. Now I do remember these. These were made by Tonka. They don't have a year on these kitties. I do remember these. Oh my gosh. My cousin Krista and I, we played for hours upon hours with these things. We loved these. Yeah, so I've got three kitties. Those are pretty cute. And four of those puppies. I used to have one of the bigger puppies. I don't know what happened to him, but those have survived. Love those. Yeah. I've also got a little Smurf here. He's an oldie. Um, don't know a, a ton about him. 10 to $20, I think, is what I found out. On the pound puppies and the pound kittens, I think maybe the lot of four of those for ten to fifteen dollars, and the same with these ten to fifteen dollars for the three of them. Cute. So this stuff isn't super valuable, but I mean, it's just stuff that was going to get tossed out otherwise. Right. So right, you know why not? <laughs> Laura was playing with these earlier. <laughs> oh, good! I can have them back. Yeah, those. Oh my god, they're so cute. I think those are called. I wrote it down. I think Spud Kids Potato Heads. So they're like little mini. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> they're like little mini potato heads and you only uh, change out their shoes and their hats. That is so cute. Here, let's move these little guys. Okay. <laughs> so Laura was having a grand old time with these earlier. Because, and you said this one was poetic. Well, he looks, he looks like he's giving a speech. She was poetic, so he needed this. Which is like sheep horns. He looks like he's in an opera. 
That's just, Don't people wear like sheep really, horns in operas, Mickey? In one particular opera, yes. What, <laughs> what opera is that? Uh, <laughs> it'd be a Wagner opera. <laughs> but it, he does. Look, he looks like he's singing. He looks like he's really into something. Does Bugs Bunny wear those when he does Kill yes, the Rabbit? Maybe. Yes, or Kill but, the Rabbit. Yes. What's the actual tune? Ride of the Valkyries. What was that in originally? That's what I can't pull up in my mind. <laughs> Is it 2001 A Space Odyssey? No, that's... That's the You're angel. just quizzing me. You're I just am. wanting me to say things. Yeah. I'm not. Oh, you're not going to play along? No. Look at her. She's so fancy in her hat. And look, he's a little hero. He's a little firefighter. <laughs> hey, look, he saved the day. He did. If I get this much enjoyment out of these, I can only imagine how much fun those were when you were like I used to five. play those a lot. This is like my favorite thing. <laughs> and I had Mr. Potato Heads too, like the actual one. And, and I think I'm Mrs. Potato Head, but yeah, I played with those a lot. You're having a really good time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm out of feet, but oh, oh my God, they're cute. <laughs> so yeah, on those little guys, I'm not sure, not super valuable, maybe 10 to $15 for all of those together. So cute. I have one more thing. Oh, okay. Look at this. Awesome. Whoa. Look at him. <laughs> He's big. Yeah. So Donatello was my favorite. The, oh, yeah. you just said. Donatello. He was the purple Ninja Turtle. He was my favorite. So yeah. He's just a big old stuffed animal. I got a lot of play out of that one too. Did you sleep with him? I don't think so. Is he a pillow? I don't think he's a pillow. I think I think I used to like fight with him. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> of course you did. I was pretty rough, I think, on stuff. I bet. <laughs> so yeah, he was fun. I like him a lot. I don't. I can't find him on eBay. I have found ones uh, similar to him. Some that are like us. <laughs> some that are like plush that are like um, you know like a regular stuffed animal. Right, feels. right. This one is like. You know how like those windbreakers used to feel in the 80s? Everybody wore those parachute suits. Oh yeah. That's what he feels like. So oh, I can't find him on eBay to find out how valuable he is. I would guess $15, $20 if I had to. He might be a treasure, you don't know. Who knows? So yeah, this is what I've got, Laura. Well, this is adorable. It's so cute. And I'm stealing these. You can't sell these in the yard sale. Okay, if okay. you say so. Okay. So I've got a few other things too. I have a Teddy Ruxpin um, in my room and his little pal Grubby. I have a <laughs> Cricket doll from the 80s. I'm not gonna get rid of her. Um, just some other like Barbies and things that are in really rough condition. Probably my Ninja Turtles beat my Barbies up. <laughs> so that's probably why they're not doing so well. I was wondering why you had Barbies and probably, yeah, they're probably just the poor victims. <laughs> So anyway, you know, I just wanted to show you this stuff and we'll probably be cleaning it up a little bit and putting it on eBay as well here shortly. Yeah, it's, this is super fun to look at. Yeah. So next week, so I, again, I told you at the, at the beginning of this video that, you know, my dad was going through a lot of his stuff and at my grandmother's house and just cleaning out a lot of things. Next week, I'm gonna show you some things that were his when he was a kid. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, so I've got some of that stuff too. And again, he was just gonna throw some of this stuff away. I was like, don't throw that away. I was oh, like, yeah. I can sell that on eBay. <laughs> and then he was like, well, what am I gonna get? <laughs> so <laughs> we'll have to just wait and see. Yeah. So please stay tuned for next week's video when we go through some toys from like the 60s and 70s. It'll be fun. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay, so if you like this video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up, leave us a comment below. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye.